Hey, what up? We got the Nightmare Before Christmas deck. Which, I've had this deck for a little bit. I'm just going to see if I can shift some things around here. Because I feel like this is important. Important. Sorry, I've got the sun right here in my face. The sun is changing. And it's kind of doing a thing. So Nightmare Before Christmas. We're going to do a little tarot spread. I, I don't know. I'm feeling cold. It's been sitting out. Like, my kids were playing with it. You guys can kind of scope the cards, I guess, as I'm do doing that. Okay. We'll count the ones that flipped up. I wanted to do about three. I guess we'll take these as well. We'll take these in the mix. And I love five, but I feel like let's get one more because this is so crazy. I was not expecting this many cards. And um, that's just the way that it likes to go. Sorry. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hopefully this gives me enough time. Okay, so... We've got a spread, a spread, a spread instead. Okay, okay. So what's interesting is there must be a lot of movement and transformation happening. And I'm going to say that first and foremost because we start off with the chariot. What I'm getting from the chariot is, you know, that movement, that transformation, new beginnings, maybe a new whip, you know, a new ride, maybe um, you're just moving through something and you're just kind of like transitioning through it so that's kind of the first interpretation i get from this and i'm going to show you guys this spread so we got the chariot this bamboozle the world wheel of fortune temperance potions potions all that good stuff okay so now we're getting into the roman numerals which i am absolutely horrible at but it looks like we have four so four of potions this is a very vague card because the thing is it's it's giving me a light symbol there's like this very connection to something in emotion there's three things here it's like maybe sorting through something maybe um you know there's some areas where you're giving more and not giving enough or you've just got to find that right balance but what's interesting is like this one bottle is being wrapped around by this like mystical aura so that's kind of interesting and brings a lot of emotional and spiritual significance to me also four is not the happiest number it's not a very lucky number to me but four of cups could mean some struggles with some emotional things going on maybe you're struggling with moving through something or having a transfer maybe transformation maybe you're struggling to find something new or start a new thing um, or moving through it so we're going to dive deeply into that. Now, with that being said, the next card that came out was the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune looks uh, quite dramatic on this card, but I love it because, I mean, who doesn't love Boogie Boogie's silly little moment that he made in the Nightmare Before Christmas? Um, the Wheel of Fortune, I mean, I'm biased because I absolutely love bats. So this is just a fun little funky thing, but it's kind of like, you know, hang in there, hang tight because things are going to turn around. Um, things are going to really start coming to fruition. All those things that you've been working towards or having in a little bit of an emotional struggle with, um, you know, they are going to get better. And in the end, it's all going to work out and positive things are coming you know what I mean like you're gonna have a change of like a change in situation um temperance is just kind of having your mind steady and straightened out using what you have using what's in your emotional arsenal with this um smoky little skull here so it's kind of very symbolic of the mind but temperance always gives me that vibe of just hanging in there staying settled 
don't let things boil over you know don't let it bubble over within you kind of have that balance and put the right things into play get the right things kind of working out um don't let your emotions so much take over you but find the right ways and outlets to kind of pour these emotions into something that's going to be sustainable that's going to make sense that's going to help you along this so far pattern of transformation and change that's going on of course now we also have it looks like five of potions and jack is sitting here in despair now once again another emotional card maybe things aren't going to work out quite the way you expected or you're intending or seeing but this is also showing me that you know you you have to hang in there now we got this in reverse so maybe it is that you're going to have a change in outlook or your emotions are going to change or you, you you've got to really work on an emotional standpoint of this he's got some knocked over empty things here on the side and it's really giving me a symbolism of like okay but right behind you you've got two full bottles here still so don't be so upset about what's going on in front of you over here so much but focus on the two bottles that you have or maybe you're giving because this is in reverse maybe you're giving too much to some bottles over here and focusing too much on things that you really can't control so you need to really switch around and focus on the things that are going to help you through this change in transformation and help you through this like goal that you've been working on it feels like um rather than kind of sitting there upset that um you know things didn't really work out the way that you were expecting because life never works like that then we have the two of potions also in reverse and what's interesting is there's a lot of symbolism of like two two bottles here because with these two cards you know there's two full bottles here and then there's two essentially full bottles there and it's just really symbolizing a lot of emotion to me. Um, once again, you know, there's a little element of the colors of blue and red. There's something tied a little bit more tightly um, or an intricately with the blue here. So it's a little bit more calmer. Maybe something's leaking. Maybe something emotionally isn't right. Or there's something off or unsettling around you, perhaps. So you're really trying to, like cover something up also on a ch chakra level i could feel that this is the throat chakra with the blue where you're kind of feeling closed up and can't express something so you maybe you want to kind of express something it is in reverse maybe you did express something and now it's kind of choking you up backfiring who knows but stand strong in your fire element stay strong in the red the rooting um, this is going to root you, but make sure that nothing seeps out and you're getting ungrounded. So the red could really symbolize that root chakra, the stability, you know, don't feel so unstable. Like you can't have everything under control or try to like wrap things up and patch things up, so to speak, because, you know, it's all about just staying grounded and not covering things up so much. Um, it's giving a lot of emotion and I will go into the guidebook and see what that says as well but I like to do my interpretation first so we have the last card here and we have seven so this could be within the week within this week's energy um, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting is this is like the week's energy now two of needles this is very very interesting needles in this deck are representing the swords which swords represent air communication so this could have to do with communication or communicating something. Maybe you're looking for a raise. Maybe you're looking for something better to pan out in work-related endeavors. Um, it's kind of really up to your interpretation, but I'm just really feeling like there's a lot of emotion in something. Like you're going through a big transformation and like everything is going to be okay, but you just got to keep it stable and together and keep yourself from holding back you know don't hold back on yourself if you got something to say you know really go for it and remember that you're going to have to be putting in that hard work communicate see what it is that is needed or wanted if it is a place of work um you know maybe do a little bit more research on how to like plow through and get things you know all good to go two is a very balancing number two it could also represent some decisions so maybe deciding whether or not you should follow through with an opportunity or follow through on an endeavor that's kind of the energy and message that i'm getting when i see these cards also to myself 
Spiders are symbolic of creation and creativity. They are the weavers of life, weavers, excuse me, of life in the um, Native American cultures. So they are all about like the medicine wheel, things like that. So maybe deciding whether uh, a more creative career versus a more medicinal, holistic approach. So that's also coming to mind as well. There's a spiral. Spirals are also very symbolic. Um, and Sally's just kind of diligently working on this. So just, you know, know that your hard work and efforts, you know, will be seen to just keep going through and pursuing that and just communicating it, what it is that you may need. So let's give it a look in the old guidebook here and see what some of these things really have to say on their standpoint and the chariot we had first. So with the chariot upright, it does mention with determination, focus and drive, Jack steers his sleigh through the night sky, delivering presents on Christmas Eve. The chariot represents progress, forward momentum and the harnessing of inner strength to overcome obstacles in your way. Upright, which we had, is Jack stops at nothing to make his dreams come true. Singular commitment to a goal is what the chariot is all about. Don't get sidetracked because there is no time for doubts. Continue forward with fierce determination and don't let anything stand in your way. All right, so that's the first one and it resonates a lot with what I had mentioned. We're going to get right into the potions here and just keep it kind of fluid and going um, just kind of speaking through it so that way it's not so cumbersome. Oh, let's see. Perfect. Okay, so we have four of potions upright. Um, indicates that there's a decision to be made, but remember that you don't have to accept everything you're offered. Listen to your intuition and don't be afraid to decline opportunities that don't feel right. Make sure you know what you are signing up for by carefully reading the fine print, especially when faced with offers that seem too good to be true. So very interesting. Um, we have the Wheel of Fortune, like Oogie Boogie's Roulette Wheel. The Wheel of Fortune is all about chance. This card represents a major life changes and shifts in luck. Upright, you have reached a turning point in your life. The moment when the storm clouds part, the sun comes out, and your luck begins to change. Now may... Be the time to make a big move. Whether you switch careers, begin a new romance, or jumpstart a lifestyle shift, relocate across the country, you will have a good fortune on your side. Let's check out what Temperance has because we got a lot of major arcana up in this piece. Let's see. Okay, so Temperance. The message of temperance is moderation. Now isn't the time for excess or extreme. So make sure you are maintaining a balance in your life. Remember, whatever you put out, you will get back. It's all give and take. Embrace the flow. So kind of what I was also mentioning with that one. We'll take a little look at the potions once again. Potion fills and motions. Okay, I'll break. Nope, reverse. In this card... and. Indicates personal mistakes that have been made. It is time to recognize these missteps and forgive yourself. You did the best you could with the knowledge you had at the time. Instead of wallowing in regret, do what you can to right your wrongs and take care not to make the same mistakes again. You are wiser because of this experience. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. And it does kind of make sense to like not wallow in that. Um, not give too much attention to the things that aren't really serving you. In reverse for the two of potions, we have things been have things been feeling a little off between you and someone important in your life. Examine your own needs and motivations. How do you really feel about this relationship? Are you being honest, compassionate, or supportive? Are they? Give yourself time to reflect and take a deep breath and try talking things out. If equilibrium Librium can't be reached. Moving on alone may be the best course of action. So pretty deep there. We're getting pretty deep. Okay. Needles. And we have the last one. Sorry, that message just kind of hit a little bit. A little harder than I was expecting. Sorry, it's taking me a minute to find. Here we go. Two of needles. So this is in 
Something heavy is on your mind. You have been racking your brain over a predicament, trying to come up with a solution that benefits everyone. Excuse me, I lost my track. Everyone involved. Make sure you're seeing things as they really are. You need all the facts before you can make up your mind. So it's kind of like that decision, you know, deciding between things, you know, um, like I was mentioning before. So, you know, keep an eye out on that. And those are kind of the inner messages that come from this deck. And this is kind of the vibe that I was getting for it today. So I really appreciate you guys stopping by and catching on this energy and this like kind of live um, inspired, you know, message that has kind of come up. Um, as it's just really, really, really enjoyable to kind of go through and, you know, read the energy and read the feelings and compare it to what, you know, the book's interpretations are as well. So I like to do that fun thing just to give you a full vibe of like what's going on. Um, all right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning into this little intuitive uh, message and I will catch you in the next one.